What's up? What's up, dude? So yesterday I was scrolling through Twitter and I realized so many people were asking me political advice. Every single tweet was like, Josh, I don't know anything about the election. Can you please help me? I don't know who to vote for. I am one of the greatest politicians to have ever walked this earth. I don't talk about politics on this channel, but the world needs my help. Get your notepads out because I'm about to pump your gas. Okay, first off, who's running for president? We got Donnie. We got Hill. We got Bird. Feel the burn. Is there anyone else? Oh yeah, Ted Cruz. So I looked up the meanings behind each of the candidates' names. Bernie! Derived from the Germanic element burn. Bear, combined with hard brave. A hard brave bear. Die. From the Gaelic name Domnol, which means ruler of the world. <laughs> Hillary! It's a medieval English form of the word hilarious, which means cheerful. And we all know how cheerful Hillary Clinton is. Look how happy she is to be running for president. And Teddy! Teddy Bear! Ted, which comes from the word Theodore gift of God. He's our little bundle of joy. So we're dealing with a cheerful woman, a hard, brave bear, a ruler of the world, and our little bundle of joy from God. One of these four people are going to run this country. So you better be voting for the right person or else I'm going to throw my shoe into a cheese grater. So then I won't have any shoes. I'm going to probably have to walk around barefoot for the rest of my life and freeze and get a glycoma. My dentist once told me that he walks around like without shoes and I'm like, bro, Give me a toothbrush and let me leave this place already because I don't want to be here. Okay, we got two political parties. We got the Republicans and Democrats. Republicans red, Democrats blue. It's basically a Bloods versus Crips situation here. And now we got to take a look into our colorful world and see what's blue and what's red. Okay, what are some things that are red? We got jelly. Think about that jelly donut you ate for breakfast this morning. Republican! <gasps> this box of connects. You might drink it every day. Coca-Cola. Red. Michelle Obama's beloved dress. Red. Maybe Barack is holding her back and she's like, I want to become a Republican. Okay, so what's blue? What are some blue things other than my walls? <laughs> Bluebirds. The sky is blue and we look up at the sky every day. The sky is red. The sky is red. With the sky is red? No, 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 dude. The sky is always blue. With this Nash Greer's eyes, hello. This brand new toothbrush, blue. What is my dentist trying to tell me? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> didn't see that one. The color of my heart. Oh my gosh! Next, I found this stick in my garage. My fifth grade teacher once told me, yo guys, if you're not a Republican, get out of my class, because I don't like you. The amount of children that walked out of that class. He ended up marrying a student from that class like 10 years down the road. I'm, I'm so happy for them. I should call them. Usher once spoke to us and said, I quote, I want to make love in this club. In this club. In this club. I'm telling you guys, it's way deeper than we think. Now let's look at each of our candidates' faces. What does each of these faces tell you? Obviously, we got a group of really healthy looking, joyful people who just want to change this country for the better. And I actually brought my calculator into this video, so we're going to do some calculations. Five minus six equals negative one, which doesn't help us because we're not looking for any negative numbers here. This knife is green, which means it's neither Republican or Democrat. So that's that. What do you see when you look at this cup? You see an animal staring right at you. So basically, when you're sipping this cup, this animal is staring at your chest. In the world of Minecraft, is there really a political debate? Is there? One time I walked into my kitchen and there was an ant hill on the kitchen floor. Like we had an ant infestation in my house. Yeah, ants are really sneaky. They're really tiny and they can just crawl through any space. So you better seal up those spaces in your political world, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas, dog. You gotta put your Timberland boots on, put your foot in the mud and be like, nah, man, I'm not changing my stance. You are. I'm just looking for a president who will accept my owl as a human citizen. Someone flossed their teeth with this and left it on my floor. Every person running wants to promise you that they'll clean your teeth. But once they clean out your teeth, what happens? They just end up on your garage floor. Wow, filled with so much knowledge. I hope you guys took down notes. I think this is enough information for you to realize who you should be voting for in this presidential election. My name is Josh, the greatest politician to ever walk the face of the earth. I love you guys, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment in the comments box letting me know what you thought about my political views. Woo! Yo, Obama? I'm gonna go outside right now and screw this light bulb into my garden. I'll see you guys later. Still like a time on board, it's getting funky, it's 2016, it's the year of the monkey. Quit B on the track and you better step back, if you diss my voice you get slap, slap, slap. If you come any close to blap, 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 you're looking kinda lost, get a map, map, map. Meek Mills, I drake that. Rick Ross, I made back. After March, April, May that, 2016, I slay that.